Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to give you a review of Exploring Thoration with Mathematics Level 1 from Apologia. So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I just want to say welcome and make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so, so you don't miss any of my homeschooling videos. So today I just wanted to give you a review of Apologia Math, exploring creation with math mathematics. We've been using this with my second grader since the beginning of the school year and it has just been absolutely wonderful. I, I'm going to start by saying I love this curriculum. I have shared that before, I think in some other videos. So I just wanted to give you a quick overview of it and a review of what we think about it. And so, you know, if you're, this is the time where you might be looking for, you know, curriculum. So this is, it's just been a wonderful, wonderful asset for our homeschool. So I wanted just um, to share with you. So we got, we I have a second grader, but we decided to start this program in first grade because he had some holes here and there in math because, you know, I, I have shared before, um, you know, school, you know, for him, you know, before we got him, you know, diagnosed with, with autism, we just had a lot of, you know, behavior issues. And it was just, you know, school came second for the last two years. And finally this year, we've been starting to get back at it. So but very brief here, I'll just, you know, share that with you. But this grade, it, even if it's first grade level, I think it is a little bit more advanced from what I can see. This grade level, this book one, it is more, I feel it is second semester of first grade, I, you know, first semester of, you know, second grade. I've seen other curriculums that are first grade math and I, they, and they are way, way, you know, below the, you know, the skills in this one. So why not start by saying one of the things that I love about this book, the kids book, uh, it is spiral bound. And I just love a book that is spiral bound because it's easy for them to work through. So I really like the spiral bound, just some of the little things that, you know, are important. So this is separated into five units and each unit is separated into chapters. So when you look at here at the, at the you know, table of contents, um, so unit one is introduction to addition, unit two is addition and subtraction, unit three place value, number unit four measurement and data, and unit five is geography. We're almost done with unit three, uh, three and we're about to start for unit four. Okay, so this book, you have kind of introduction here at the beginning and it teaches you, it tells you that it is divided into five units to be you know, completed throughout the year. And each page in the book has little icons here to tell you what type of activity, what kind of, uh, you know, you're going to be doing for that, that, you know, specific lesson. So if you see this little book here, or a little notebook with a pencil, it's telling you that you are going to be working on a skill practice. So that's usually more at the beginning of the chapter. It tells you, or beginning of the unit, what, what skills you're going to be needing you know, to practice. It could be facts, you know, math facts, or practice your numbers depending where you are. If you see the little rocket ship, it means that you are about to do an activity and it's usually a hands-on activity. And you, you're you gonna, can, it, when, when you see that you are exploring the beginning of the lesson, kind of introducing a, a concept with a hands-on activity. Then we have the a telescope. When you see the telescope, it is gonna be an important concept that your child is going to learn. And when you see the astronaut, that's, you know, the lesson practice. So the astronaut means it's a lesson practice where you are practicing what you, what you learn in the rocket ship activity, which is kind of the introduction to the lesson with the hands-on activity. Also, one of the things that I like is also uh, you can log into the website and there is a code that they give you here when, when you buy the book. And you can in, and you can have tons of extra things in there. There's games, there's worksheets, all of different things. And I'll show you some in a little bit that I printed out last week for my son. So, so I'm going to show you really quick what a lesson looks like. I like at the beginning of each lesson we have unit one. Um, I'm going to show you, you know, the first unit introduction to addition, and it gives you how you can see. So this is you know I. I uh, 
a Christian curriculum, how can you see our creator in, in mathematics? So kind of, I feel like the first two pages is kind of, of a Bible study and how math and God is, everything is connected and how you see God in nature and in math. So it's really, it's really great. So that's the, at, at the beginning of each unit is when you see that. And then usually beginning, like I said, the skill practice. So those are the things you need to be practicing with your kids. Those scales here was, you know, practicing the numbers 0 to 20. Then it's going to be practice your facts to 10 or facts to 20. Subtraction fact, addition facts. Okay. So the beginning of each. So they have the unit then we have the chapter. And it gives you the kind of the objectives, the goals for this um, for this chapter. So it says in this chapter, you will review how to identify and write numbers, match numbers to the correct objects, and complete, you know, sequences. So the beginning of each chapter, you have all the objectives for that chapter. <clears throat> so like I shared, here we have the hands-on activity with the rocket ship. So this is something that you're going to do as a hands-on activity. And I'm going to show you, you know, in a second where, you know, the materials that, you know, that you need. So you get your hands-on activity. Then you have the astronaut where you practice what you did on that lesson. Okay. So here, another rocket activity. So it's something kind of beginning showing a new concept. Then you go ahead and you practice the new concept. Okay. So this was at the beginning. We're work, we were working on numbers. We were working on adding and that, and you know, matching number to you know, quantity of objects. Let me show you here. Let's go to lesson. So let's go to chapter seven. So chapter seven, we're doing a subtraction up to twenty. Okay. So in this chapter, you will learn. So it gives you again the the objectives. So I'm going to give you some of the, show you some of the things that we were working on. Hope you can see that. And let's go a little bit more further down. Chapter 10, where we're comparing numbers. Okay. So all the lessons are structured the same way. And I like that it has an activity, hands-on activity, then you have a practice. Okay. Working on that, and right now we are working. We are on lesson. Lesson we're on. We're about to finish unit three in lesson seventy-six. We're working on word problems. Okay, identifying what are the keywords to do addition and subtraction problems. So this, and then we're going to start working on on you know units of measurement and some geometry at the end. So, uh, so one of the things that I love about this in curriculum it is visual but it's not overwhelming so you can see yes there's pictures but it don't overwhelm the page okay sometimes you can open a curriculum there's a lot of you know a lot of color and for some kids that might be you know distracting i also like that it teaches kids how to do one skill in different ways so you know it's been teaching them how to do addition with using blocks and also just using you know numbers and you know, writing them in a vertical way so it teaches them different ways to do one thing one 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 uh, concept and then your child's going to pick the one that works best for them the one that you know based on their needs and what's you know so they they have a chance once you know they they practice or they learn three ways to do a concept then in one of the in one of the lessons they can pick and choose what they want to use to answer the problem okay <laughs> that makes sense i do also enjoy look okay, here my notes uh the lessons are short one skill at a time they do the the hands-on activity then they do the practice so it's it, i think and and there's enough problems or then to practice that skill without overwhelming them you know one you know if you have 20 problems of the same thing then you know that you know that can be overwhelming for some kids. See, I know it can be overwhelming for for mine. So even if if I look at a page and there's a lot of even if it's it might not seem like a lot of problems, but for him it might be like here. So we were doing so I said if you can do this three, get them all right without you know any help, then we we don't have to finish it. And he was able, you know, to do it. So you do what's best for your kid, but that's how it's been working out for us and it works out well. And another thing that I really enjoy, this lessons are really easy for parents to follow. So I'm going to share with you really quick the teacher guide and answer key. 
I'm going to show you really quick the teacher's guide. So again, you have a, a table of contents and you have a daily schedule to follow week by week. We don't follow the schedule. We just kind of go as we, you know, every day we do as much as we can and we do what, you know, what I feel that's you know, is good for that day. But if you want a schedule that you want to follow, it is here for you. A, a teacher introduction guide. And it gives you also, so for each lesson, at the beginning of each lesson, you have the supply list. I'm sorry, at the beginning of each unit, you have the supply list that you're going to need for that unit right here in the front, okay? So you can start, you know, picking things out. And it, so you can check what you have to make sure you have everything you need. And you have, so you work on your skill practice. And then it, you know, for each lesson, it just gives you different ways that you can teach it to your child each, you know, how you can take it a little bit further, especially if they're a little bit more advanced, you, you know, how can you take it a little bit further or how can you, you know, if, if they need you know, extra help with something. And I think that's where the extras come out, come, it's good, especially if they need something extra. And then at the end of the book, you have all, all the extra things that you might need for your lessons. So in the back, I, I, we haven't used everything in there. If I think it's something that my son knows, or I, you know, I want to do it a different way, I find something else to do, or just, you know, or we, you know, skip it completely. But that's the beauty of homeschooling. You do what works best for your child, and you know, the curriculums I always say they are a guide for you. You don't have to do every little thing in the curriculum. So we don't do all the activities that are in the that you know are in the book. We do a lot of them, but not all of them, and that's okay. But in the back, if, if there's an activity, the, the, the activity sheet, especially if you have to cut something out, is in the back of the teacher's guide, okay? So that's in there for you. And all the answers for, for all the problems are in there too. So I wanted to show you some of the extras that you can find. I, I printed out some last week for my son to practice. In his, uh, I want him to practice more of his math facts. So I went and you can go and download all these practice sheets so we did some you know i downloaded some um addition practice sheets just mostly for for his facts so if there's something that your child has is you know struggling a little bit more you think they need a little bit more practice you can go into the extras in the book i'm sorry in the website and you can print out those extra sheets for things that you need they need to practice or they need extra practice so i think this is a great resource Make sure you use it when you buy because it's there available for us. Make sure you get that, okay? So this, um, yes, I'm gonna say I we love this curriculum. It is wonderful. It's been wonderful. We are almost. I feel you know we are you know almost done. We have two units to finish, and I think we. We'll probably finish by the end of the school year or through the summer. I'm gonna, since he does, you know, therapy, we're gonna try to continue working through math, trying to see if we can catch him up, but he's doing wonderful. He loves the curriculum. I love the curriculum as a parent, it, um, how easy it is, you know, for me to teach it. Oh, one thing, I almost forgot. One sec. So at, at the back of the teacher's guide, uh, you have the complete list of the material. So when you get it, you can look and see. There's a lot of things that you have at home that you are not going to have to buy a lot of things. You have, you know, I'm sure you have Legos or you have, you know, Uno cards or cups. There, You know, so a lot of some things you might have to buy, like, you know, the linking cubes, base stem blocks. But a lot of the things in here I think that you probably have in your house, okay? So make sure when you get it, look in the back, check what you have at home and sit, and then buy what you need. And so everything is right there. almost forgot to mention that. So yeah, this is a great curriculum. I totally recommend for your child if you're looking for something for math. Round, right now, they have one first to third grade, but I think either now in the spring or the summer, they're gonna come with the fourth grade. So I'm really excited that we'll be able to continue with this after we're done you know, with the third grade. So I hope they keep adding because this has just been a godsend. In, he is, we are actually, he's enjoying doing the math lessons. He is learning. And yes, if you know my child, that's a really good thing. And just working through all these lessons, it's just, I'm excited. I already bought um, the, the you know, second book. Actually, I just bought it yesterday because I'm starting to buy things. So 
I probably gave you a quick walkthrough of that one too, so you can see the difference and what kind of things we are going to be, you know, uh, you're studying. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're interested in getting the product, I am, I am, a, I'm affiliate with Apologia. So you can click on my link below if you're interested in getting this product. It doesn't uh, cost you anything. It just helps my family a little bit every time you make a purchase. It just, you know, I get a a small, you know, percentage, but it doesn't cost you any, you know, anything extra. So I'm gonna put the, my affiliate link below, and if you're interested, I totally recommend. Even if I wasn't an affiliate, I'm saying this is an amazing curriculum. I can not just, I, I love it. I haven't loved a math curriculum since we started homeschooling as much as I love, you know, this one. So I wish I had it for you know older grades for my for my high schooler. So thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this curriculum, please let me know, post them below. I would love to answer them. And I will see you all in my next video.